this discovery allows us uh, not just to say we have Denisovans there in Tibet, but also to identify some other fossils that has been found in the past in China and that share some features with our fossil from Xiaé and, and, and this way to relate them to this group of the Denisovans. And by putting together all these fossils and new fossils that will be found in the future, we can have a, a picture of uh, how Denisovan look like, what uh, to date was not possible. often asked is do we have to rewrite the textbooks and um, we have to add a little chapter in a textbook um, but it is a part of an ongoing process and it's part of a very exciting ongoing process where we realize that human evolution is just more complicated than the simple linear progression from a little crouched creature chimpanzee like creature to a to a walking human um, there's just a lot of different species happening and at times they interbreed which sometimes comes as a surprise to people, um, and branches die out, etc., etc. So it's a complex picture, and this has really um, put the Denisovans on the map. Mm -hmm.